In this Cinema 4D Quick Tip, I'm going to show you why I always use the Honeycomb Array when arranging rows and columns of objects. Now, I'm using a chair here that I found in the Cinema 4D Content Browser, but you can swap this out with any object in order to create a shelf display for product visualization or some other type of motion graphics piece. Now, of course, we'll be using a cloner object to create our rows and columns of chairs. So we'll start by selecting our chair object and adding a new MoGraph cloner object to the scene. I'm going to hold down the Alt key while I do that so that it makes the chair a child of the cloner and the chair is the object that's being cloned automatically. Now, by default here, we've got a linear arrangement and that's not what we're looking for here. You might think to go into a grid array and set the count here to 1, which is going to give you a perfect grid of chairs in rows and columns. Ever since the release of the Honeycomb Array in release 18, though, I prefer using that whenever I'm creating rows and columns of objects. And I'm going to show you why. The first thing that we need to do is set the orientation here. So I'm going to set it to Y along the XZ plane. And now we've got our chairs in rows and columns across the floor. We'll need to, of course, adjust the per step offset here of the chairs. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the number of chairs this way so that you can see what's going on here. Now, the beauty of the Honeycomb Array is it's got this built-in offset. You'll see that right now that offset's actually going the wrong direction. It's going the dis with the distance between the rows instead of with the chair arrangement itself. So I'm going to switch this offset direction from height to width. And once we do that, we need to just make some quick adjustments here to the distances between the chairs. And now you can see that we've got these offset rows and columns of chairs. We'll go ahead and go with uh, maybe more like 20 wide and 5 high. And the beauty of the honeycomb array here is that we've got this built-in offset. So if I set this to 0, you see that we've got perfect rows and columns of chairs. If I set it to 50%, each chair is offset precisely so that each row can sort of look at the space between the chair in front of it. And then of course you can go all the way over to 100% and each row is actually a full stagger. So you can adjust the stagger here with the offset parameter. And also there's these awesome offset variation options. So I can adjust the offset on a row by row basis in order to add a little bit of randomness. And I can also add some perpendicular variation so that we can adjust the distance between the rows. This extra randomness helps to sell the scene and make it look less CG. Now that I hope I've convinced you to use the honeycomb array, I want to show you a couple of quick technical things to keep in mind. The first thing is that the size width here is the distance from one chair, the one spot on an object, to the same spot on the next object in the line. So here we can see that our chairs, if we're in size plus mode, are 45 centimeters wide. And here in the cloner, if we were to set this to 45 centimeters wide, they'd be right up next to each other. So that's how you set that offset. Now also the count width here you'll notice is 20 and that is the count of two complete rows because it's counting two rows because it has to handle this offset. So if you want 10 chairs across you're going to set the width to twice that or 20. If we wanted 20 chairs across we'd set the width to 40. So that's a quick look at why I always use the honeycomb array when setting up rows and columns of chairs because you can really easily set up this staggered offset with each progressive row, as well as add that little bit of variation to make the scene look a little bit more real. Now in the next few quick tips, we'll go deeper into different ways of arranging chairs. And I'm gonna show you how to create a stepped or raked lecture hall or theater format. And we're also going to arrange chairs along a curve. So, Tune in in the coming weeks for those quick tips. In the meantime, if this quick tip was helpful and you plan to use the Honeycomb Array more often, hit that like button, the share button, or visit cineversity.com for more great Cinema 4D tutorials and resources.